going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of What the Duck Auto, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Harbor Freight uh, pressure tester slash vacuum fill uh, knockoff of an airlift. So uh, this is actually my buddy's. Um, some people say that these are bad. Some people say that they're good. I think they work pretty good. I wouldn't use it on like anything old that had like brittle plastic or anything. But essentially this works kind of like an AC system. So what we're going to be doing is we're using compressed air or shop air to pull a vacuum on the cooling system. Once we pull a vacuum on the cooling system, we're gonna close the vacuum off and then we're going to allow the vacuum to pull coolant out of a reservoir, which we have pre-mixed 50-50 in here. So we just open this valve with this valve closed and you'll see the vacuum gauge. We usually get to about 20 to 25 inch pounds of mercury before we go ahead and kill it. Um, you'll notice the uh, radiator hoses uh, sucking flat. And we'll go ahead and cut it there. Now we're gonna basically release the vacuum by allowing it to suck in coolant. So we're gonna flip this and it's sucking in coolant. After a while, you'll notice the uh, coolant hoses, after that vacuum drops down, it usually doesn't happen until it's about five inch pounds of mercury, but uh, the coolant hoses will uh, expand again with coolant. These dodges can be tricky. Uh, this is a 3.7 liter, but the 3.5 liters, the 2.7 liters, a lot of these Dodge engines are really finicky because they'll have that bleeder screw, and what you're supposed to do, and not a lot of people know this, is you're supposed to crack the bleeder screw while you're filling it up while the engine's cold, not while it's running. You crack the screw, you fill it up. Once coolant starts coming out, then you close it. And then there's supposed to be no air pockets. But with the vacuum fill, it basically eliminates your air pockets uh, by pulling all that air out. Um, and this is what the kit looks like from Harbor Freight. This is his kit. Um, we normally just use this one. Um, unfortunately, in this circumstance, you can see right here, uh, the reservoir nipple is right there. Um, you have to be, you have to block that off. Um, and the coolant, uh, the radiator neck right here doesn't go down far enough to get this in there to block that off. So we had to use something that looked very similar to this to block that hole off for that port, but also connect to the bottom of the radiator. So, alrighty. You can see our vacuum is almost down. You'll know it's done when that coolant start. The coolant will flow back. Or it should float the yeah, SE. And, th and that's it. Disconnect shop air, shop air. And that's it. Um, still need to top off the recovery tank. And then you can always double check to uh, top off the radiator. Uh, but that is, yeah. That's how you get coolant in there with a Harbor Freight vacuum bleeder. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you appreciate this video. Uh, maybe it helped you learn something. I didn't know how to use this tool when we first, well, when he first came to the shop, and I think it's really, really helpful. So if y'all can smack that like button and subscribe, I really appreciate it. Y'all have a great one. Peace.